morning. Um, so it's time for our testimony. And anyone who has anything to share about what God has done for them in the past few weeks um, can come forward. Please, if you're not sure you want to share something and you're still thinking about it, think fast because the testimony time is short. One, two, if you come out early, then you can tell your long story. If you come out late, that makes short time. So think about it. Um, anyone with testimony can just come forward. How did you maintain your sanity? You had plenty to pay 
you, you had to know that they say you have to move out within the next two, three days and you have no finances. Bring me to Let me maintain your sanity and effect. I mean, they always ask me and I tell them I have it, but something happened before I was and I didn't tell you that. Uh, in my office, some, uh, we had a project. It didn't go out quite well. And then they had to, you know, say everybody you have to pay this amount, whether you get one million or you get hundred thousand, you have to pay so or so amount. We have to split it between the four of us. And uh, my own portion was like on top of my salary. I said they were going to deduct it for five months, but they did it for three months. So literally, one third, uh, my one month salary was gone. And that was the point I had to pay a rent that was twice my budget. And eventually, God did it for me. And then it just brings this confidence in me that um, God could do anything, no matter the circumstances, no matter how pressure. Um, because in August last year, and August this year, the same situation played out. I had to pay, I had business to pay, and everything. And the same God showed up. The morning came the following day, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the business, I had to pay them for some time, they granted it to me. And on Friday, two days ago, I made my first delivery to Jensen. I supplied the whole piece of food, and I got some money. Praise the Lord. So you can have me by coming at me and giving your story. Tell me, if I'm the story. Praise the Lord. Um, this wonderful morning. I just want to thank God for joining messages. And um, this past week I've been all over Lagos, all over Ogun. And then um, I think a week ago, something was just on my mind that pray for your friends, pray for your friends. And I'm not really the type that prays long. So when I wake up in the morning, I'll just be like, Father Lord, I thank you Lord for my friends. Father Lord, please help keep them safe, help keep their families safe and everything. But this is my friend that normally like text once in a while and everything. So I noticed that I texted her, I didn't get a reply. I texted again, I didn't get a reply, which was on common. And then on Thursday morning, I got a text from her that uh, I had an accident. I was like, wow. So um, on Friday, I got the whole gist that she was, she left um, a PPA, she went somewhere and then she had an accident. And then in the Siena, like everybody died except her and one other person. And then the other person too died later. And then, long story short, was that I was in EPGH when she was rushed to EPGH, or I did not know. But at that point, at that moment, when I went to work in EPGH, so the stuff that was coming to my mind, I just prayed for a friend. It was just, it was during the day. I've been praying in the morning, but it was not one love prayer or anything. If I had any short time, like outside work or something. If I had any short time to myself, I'd just pray for my friends and everything. But what baffles my head is that at that point I was in a PGH that I think was coming that pray for your friends. Not knowing that my friend was rushed to a PGH at that same time. And then it was later that I found out and then after some time she was taken back to loot and then she needed to do a surgery but it was a minor one and then I just want to thank God that she's safe. I just want to thank God for I just want to thank you for keeping everybody safe and keeping myself safe. Because normally, when I hear that people die or I go to the hospital and people, I see people that have accidents and stuff, I'm just like, oh, thank God for them, thank God they are not dead and everything. But then, when she told me of her story, I was just like, oh, God, I've been all over, I've been on, um, on Thursday, I was on bike from like, like so one end of Ogun to another end of Ogun and back. And then I just want to thank God that I'm safe and I'm alive. So, Than. Praise the Lord. Um, I want to appreciate God for mothers that stayed with me and my son. Um, when my major business went down, over time, the Lord gave me another weight. And it's been sustaining us truly. Um, but like Peter said, at every point where it's beyond sustain, the Lord had been there. Um, between June, June, July, when my son finished NYC, we had, we had plans. Writing it down, we didn't even have one percent of the money needed. We didn't, I mean one, I'm not joking. What we didn't have one percent. And um, but to the glory of God Almighty, the Lord used for me to people. And more than the bill we wanted, the Lord provided. More than the Lord expected, the Lord provided. And um, I'm saying this because 
Sometimes you think you're at a level where you're just being sustained and it's like, I'm just on this track. Can't I just move up or, you know, why am I just on? But trust me, the Lord knows. And as long as He knows, He will always make a way. That we can have more. More. I don't know how to explain it, but I give God all the glory. And I know that He will keep So that's what I just want to say. I want to thank God for um, my life. I had a mini accident on this back, but it wasn't too bad. Someone moved in my car. But I was able to like, fix it quickly. So I want to thank God for that. Thank God for adding another year to my younger brother's life yesterday. And I want to thank God for bringing my mom back from camp safely. And lastly, I want to thank God because um, for years I usually had back pain, but as I can be said, because I go to her, it has reduced a lot since I started going, so I want to thank God for that. Um, so I just want to say that I want everyone to just stand up and say a quick prayer because God has helped so many people in different ways from restoring them back to position they once were from from taking them to one level to the next. I just want everyone to pray that the testimonies you've heard, if you're expecting God to do something similar in your life, that your prayers will be answered speedily and even for the people that have testified, that God will continue to keep them and take them from one level to the next. Jesus, Father, we thank you today. We thank you for this testimony time. We thank you for everything you have done for each and every one of us. We thank you for saving us. We thank you, oh God, for making a way where there seemed to be no way. We thank you for meeting our needs beyond our expectations. We thank you, oh God, for giving us a chance to live again. We thank you, Lord, for everyone that you have blessed. We thank you for everyone that you have kept, for people that you have saved from death and you have kept them evil for years to come. We pray, oh God, that you continue to be with us in Jesus' name, that none of us will die and we will all be in Jesus' name, I pray.